Hi world, how's everybody doing? It's Chatty Dad One here coming at you today. Um, I want to talk about a few things that I have haven't heard anybody talk about. I have some major questions about the Boston Marathon bombings. I found some things that are very interesting. Um, I wanted to know what the area looked like before the bombs went off and um, the next best thing that I could do is find pictures of the buildings in the area you know and so I went to uh, Google Earth <clears throat> and I checked some things out well I found some very interesting things and I, I've got some questions I want to pose to you this is a uh, one of the areas where one of the bombs went off. Marathon Sports. See this yellow line right here is the finish line. I want you guys to help me pay attention to the buildings if you would. See that? That's the same area. Right? Now here is the library where another one of the bombs went off. At least that's what they said. There's the finish line. It's right there across the street from this place. Right across the street. And um, there's some funny things that I've seen like this splice here. I don't know why these images have been manipulated but they've been manipulated. See this right here? Somebody's somebody's taken a lot of time to manipulate these these pictures. There's one of the uh, areas. There's the Starbucks um, coffee shop, and I want you to also help me notice the uh, the building address numbers because that's going to be important in just a minute. See right here? Look at the uh, look at the lamppost. Look at this guy. Look at one leg is like a friggin' skinny leg <laughs> and the other leg's a, a, a normal leg. Okay, somebody spliced that. I don't know why and I, I don't understand it, but somebody's manipulated this picture. So um, you know, I just want some help, and I want—I'm just asking some questions here. What's going on? Look at this building here. They've removed some things. They've added some things. There's that area right there, from a distance. I couldn't find any real good close-up shots of that area um, anywhere. But that's the area. This is Lens Crafters. Notice the number. Six, seven, I think it's 673. And that's going to be uh, important in just a minute. But just notice the area. Notice the buildings. <clears throat> These pictures are real pictures. They do not lie. The pictures that... I've taken and um, screen captured from the Google Maps are manipulated for some reason. I, I don't understand why. I don't understand. I guess this place. I guess they was painting this place or something. But the windows are all taped up. That's funny too. Not funny, ha ha, but funny weird. There's the lens crafters. I believe this is the lens crafters here. Well, maybe not. But this is definitely one of the areas right here. It's kind of hard. If anybody sees anything, please um, let me know. But I, I do. I think that that's possibly one of the one of the places. The the photo's been manipulated here. 
you can see the car is split in half right here. They've done a pretty good job. I didn't catch it at first because they did do a good job, but I did catch it. See this fuzzed out up here? I'm, I'm just wondering why why is that? I don't know why that's like that. And I've never seen it before. Here's a shot of it. Notice the number 667. That's Avmed. That's right where one of the bombs went off. Lens Crafters is 673. Six seven one. So I think the six seven three is over to the right or to the left of this building. And it's going down. Or it should be. Three of the top runners dropped out of the race beforehand. Said it was due to uh, illnesses and injuries. Well, why would they even sign up for the race if they had injuries and illnesses? Okay. This is a uh, higher up shot. This is not manipulated. I don't know why they manipulated if it was unless it was to take something out and put something in. Now here we see at the library. Look at the construction going on. Now these shots were taken weeks if not days before the race. There's the finish line. Okay? The reason I say this was weeks or days beforehand, because there's no snow on the ground. And where is this at? This is in Boston. You know how much snow they had just recently. There's no snow. You can see the date down here, 2013. So we know it's this year. Come on, people. I mean, it, it blew me away when I saw this stuff and started seeing what I saw. And I started realizing this is another same kind of crap as 9-11. You know? Same kind of bull crap. Same kind of bull crap as um, the federal building in o Oklahoma City. Always construction going on. Always something weird going on. And I'm just asking questions here. See this construction going on? This is the library right across the street from this <clears throat> one of the one of the sites, one of the bombing sites. That looks like a little camera right there. That's a little construction area. I don't know what they're doing. This is a uh, poster. For, I guess a play or something, I don't know, sermons, slavery, and scandal. Isn't that interesting? I find that very bizarre. Are they telling us something? Now I want you to look at this red thing right here. This is important. I don't know what it is exactly. Look, they've spliced this. I don't know what that red thing is exactly. I don't know what's up with it. But it seems to be at the other blast area too. Not seems to be, it is. There is one at the other spot. Like I say, please help me uh, look for things that I may have missed. If you guys see anything, please let me know. Now look at this, 665667. Okay, that building's out of place. At least the number is, anyway. Because the number of the building goes up and then goes back down. It should be going down, down, down. <clears throat> but it doesn't. It jumps up. There's 665. Six, seven, three. I 
think this is 671. And then 667 and 665. What's wrong with that? That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I just, uh, maybe I don't understand something there in Boston. Here's some, uh, the construction again from above. Always the construction that was going on. See this little red thing here? It's on the other side there. 673. Now, I'm just posing some questions. These are things that I've noticed, and it, it just does not jive. This image is not split in half. Somebody's taken a lot of time to manipulate these images. And this goes deep, y'all. This goes deep. If Google Maps are involved in covering something up, are they? I don't know. See, there's 671. Now this may be nothing. This is right by 671. It's 667 and 665. It went 673, 66, or 663, 661. You know, it's it's weird. <clears throat> to me anyways it is doesn't make sense. There's right there where that lens crafters is. Notice that right there. This is right above the Starbucks. Okay, there's another one of them red things. Now the Starbucks was on down the street a little bit. It's in the seven um, seven five six. See the blue awning. See the Hagen Dosh or whatever it is. Hagen Dogs or whatever. <laughs> I can't pronounce it here today. But see it. There's the little red thing. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a transmitter or what. But it's very peculiar that they're only there. Here's the split in half dude again. <laughs> I think that's a funny picture. It looks looks weird. Look at him. I mean, come on. They did a pretty good job. They really did, but not good enough. See? 755. Now that's what Starbucks is. 755. <clears throat> that lamp was split in half. 671. There's that other red thing. Here's the pu public library. It's been split in half. Look at the car. You can just barely see it. They did a good job. I wonder if that person parks there every day. See right here? You can see it. They split it. Right there is construction going on, right across the street from Marathon Sports. That was one of the blast sites. Okay, I don't believe that anybody dropped a friggin' package off or a backpack off that day. I think these bombs were there and waiting to be set off. Look at the building split in half. I do. I really do, people. I think the same thing. I, I mean, look at this car. It's split in half. They've removed something. They've added something. It's really, really funny to me, and I don't, I don't understand. But if you guys would give me a, give me a hand and help me out with this, you know, go on Google Earth and and check this out. Go to Marathon Sports in Boston, and you know that car split in half. Um, 
the Starbucks, the library. I think those are the three places where the bombs went off. This is the lens crafters here. I believe it is anyway. Let's run through these again real quick. Because this just, I mean, I'm just blown away by this. This makes so many questions in my mind of what is going on here. What is the deal? Because this doesn't make sense to me. Why would they do this? Why would they manipulate these images? What are those red things there? What was the construction going on? These are simple questions that need to be asked. Because we've seen this kind of activity before in the past where bad things have happened. This seems to be a pattern for them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not quite sure where that is. But you know they had plenty of cameras. They they could have, I'm sure they could have picked out anybody. And I'm sure they're having a heck of a time in trying to find somebody. I think this is the lens crafters right here. Notice the green awning, 665. 667. Then it drops down to 673. I mean, it, the, the numbers are out of place. They're out of place there. On all the other buildings, they kept going down, 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 down. This one, it jumped up and then it went back down. Not just a little bit, but by quite a few. I got my kitty just a meowing. He gets loud sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys would help me comb through these pictures. Um, but we need to find out what the construction was, what's going on, why these pictures were manipulated. If anybody has any real pictures of Boston, um, of these areas, you know, I'd like to check them out. Because the photos here have been manipulated. The other ones haven't. The ones that we see of all the bombings and stuff, they're for real. They haven't been tampered with as far as we know. I mean, maybe they could have, but not like this. Not with a guy split in half with one skinny leg and one normal leg. <laughs> no one would go outside like that. See, here's the construction site at the library. Anyway, that's just some, uh, some major questions that I have about this whole thing. And I wanted to share this with you guys. I've, I'm kind of freaked out by it a little bit, but this is information. This is this is clues to the puzzle. And notice that the finish line was backwards. You know, this is questions that need to be asked. Everybody's looking at the wrong stuff here. We need to look at some of this other things because this is strange. This is strange. You know, this is strange. Anyway, I hope everybody's well, having a good day. 
Let me know what you guys think. This is Chatty Dad One. God bless. Good luck to us all. Buy all the ammo you can, when you can, where you can, how you can. Never give up your guns. Stand up for your rights. Stand strong. Chatty Dad One, over and out.